I think I'm losing my mind. Hello, assalamualaikum everyone. If you are planning to get into a relationship or you are currently in a relationship or your friend is having a trouble in your relationship, you know what? This is just the right video for you to watch and learn something from this. Masih kurang cerita tanya, apa benda semacam dia merah ni? It's actually not that hard to understand. It is basically symptom-symptom ataupun perkara yang kita perlu letakkan lebih perhatian ataupun kita kena lebih teliti bila kita nampak benda-benda ni terjadi pada awal perkenalan. So some of you guys might be asking, apa pentingnya sangat red flag in a relationship ni? Why is it so crucial, so important, so significant for all of us to know these red flags in a relationship and what does it mean and how do we know and how do we solve them? Apa pentingnya sangat red flags ni? What does it serve? So basically, kebanyakan orang break up atas dasar-dasar ataupun sebab um, simptom yang diorang tak berikan perhatian ataupun lebih teliti pada awal stage perkenalan. I'm dead serious about this. Which happens all the time. Um, okay, so just imagine going on a date and then that guy couldn't stop talking about himself. Dia suka makan ni, dia suka dengar music ni, dia suka main hockey, mak dia macam ni, kakak dia macam ni, sepupu tok dia macam tu semua. And he didn't ask or he didn't pay enough attention about yourself. Senang cakap, he he is not interested to explore more about you, but just about himself. And that is a major red flag. Ada perempuan yang, eh takpelah, macam diorang tak betul-betul pay attention towards this really awful behavior. They tend to move forward with a guy. It could be sebab, firstly, diorang takut nak single. Diorang just macam, takpelah laki ni je pun keluar dengan aku. I'm so scared to be alone again. And I don't want to be alone. Second, could be because she is liking the guy for another reason which overshadow ataupun tutup kelemahan lelaki tu yang actually sangat penting untuk dia berikan perhatian. Contohnya macam lelaki tu handsome. So, bila dia handsome, dia cakap merepek ke apa ke perempuan tu macam, oh, it's okay. Keep on talking. I'm alright. But actually, lepas 4 bulan, you're gonna get bored with that freaking face and you're gonna break up with him based on the reason of he couldn't stop talking about himself and I'm so bored and tired of it. Well, you know what? On the first date itself, you knew about it, but you just don't want to pay attention. If you're gonna ask me, is there any other red flag in a relationship? Of course, there is a bunch of them. I can make another video just stating all the red flags that you can actually pay attention and be aware of. So if you have any idea which you want to share, comment down below. Okay, but I'm gonna roughly give you another two example. When he cannot stop talking about his ex-girlfriend, that's a bad thing. Another one, when he is counting every single penny that he has. Contoh rujak tiga ringgit, bahagi seorang sini berapa sen. Setiap benda kita kira, eh awak bayar lebih sen, sebab awak makan lebih. So here is the interesting part. Once you have acknowledged all the red flags, what do you do? Ada dua je pilihan. The first one is you change him, which I don't recommend you to do because it's so difficult to change a man, especially when you you fall in love with him and then he's not changing and then you're putting hope and you're living with hope and that hope dies and you're gonna end up hurting yourself. The second choice in which I recommend is run away. Benefits of noticing the red flags. Making your dating life much more easier because in the future you might know what you want and what you don't want. You know what, just take a piece of paper and just write down or type in your phone what you don't want in a man instead of what you want because what you want might be really universal which doesn't really match the reality. So in that case, just write what you don't like in a guy. Example, tak suka lelaki kedekut ke, tak suka lelaki yang cakap besar ke, tak suka lelaki yang selalu lewat ke, tak suka lelaki yang, yang macam mana aja yang you don't like, you just write it down. And once you meet these in a guy, you know there is a red flag going on somewhere there. You don't want to repeat the same mistake.
I'm dead serious about this. How much you are willing to start all over again with the wrong guy, with the wrong guy, and oops, the wrong guy again and again, just because you refuse to pay attention at the beginning stage of dating. Because if you, you're not even sure of what you want and whether that guy really meets your standard, then you're gonna mess around. You're just gonna waste your time. And I don't want any of us to do that anymore. At the end of the day, we are all offered with a variety of choices in our life and we have the authority over every single decision. So that's all for me. Be aware of the red flags and be the best narrator of your own personal life. Bye-bye.